we are asked to simplify the given complex fractions. Notice in the first complex fraction, the denominator is a mixed number. In the second complex fraction, we have variables. To simplify a complex fraction, the first step is to write the complex fraction as a division problem. Remember, a fraction bar represents division. Step two will be to follow the rules for dividing fractions, and then step three, simplify if possible. But for the first example, we do want the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction to be in fraction form, and therefore, we will begin by writing three and one-fifth as an improper fraction. So we'll keep the numerator as eight-fifths, but for the denominator of the complex fraction, we will convert three and one-fifth to an improper fraction, where the denominator remains five, and the numerator is five times three plus one, five times three is 15, plus one is 16, three and one-fifth is equal to 16 fifths. Now that we have the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction in fraction form, because this fraction bar represents division, the complex fraction is equivalent to eight fifths divided by 16 fifths. Remember, dividing by a fraction is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal, so now we'll write the quotient as a product. Dividing by 16 fifths is equivalent to multiplying by 5 sixteenths, which means 8 fifths divided by 16 fifths is equivalent to 8 fifths times 5 sixteenths. Now that we have a product to multiply, we multiply the numerators and denominators. This gives us eight times five over five times 16. Before we determine these products though, we will now simplify out the common factors between the numerators and denominators. Notice here we share a common factor of five and eight and 16 share a common factor of eight. To show the common factor of eight, let's write 16 as two times eight. This gives us eight times five over five times two times eight. In this form, we can see the common factors between the numerators and denominators. Five divided by five simplifies to one, and eight divided by eight simplifies to one. So now we have a one in the numerator and a two in the denominator. The given complex fraction simplifies to one half. It is important to remember it is important to remember when simplifying a fraction, the common factors simplify to one, they are not disappearing, which is why we have a one in the numerator. For B, beginning with the given complex fraction, because this fraction bar represents division, the complex fraction is equivalent to A over eight divided by AB over six And now I'll write an equivalent multiplication problem. Dividing by AB over six is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal of six over AB, which means A over eight divided by AB over six is equivalent to A over eight times six over AB. And now we multiply the numerators and denominators. We have A times six over eight times AB Notice we have a common factor of A between the numerator and denominator, and six and eight also share a common factor of two. To show the common factor of two, let's write six as two times three, and eight as four times two. This gives us A times two times three over eight equals four times two, and we still have AB. A divided by A simplifies the one, and so does two divided by two. The numerator is now just three, and the denominator is four times b, which is four b. The given complex fraction simplifies to three over four b. I hope you found this helpful.